So I'm going from around 200 to almost 900 FPS. Your laptop runs so hot you can cook eggs with it and you desperately need more FPS? Well I know the feeling and you've come to the right place. I'd love to see how much this will help you so please comment down below how many FPS you had before and after this video. Let's start. First you're gonna have to decide which client you're gonna use. Badline and Luna arguably have the best features but they're very heavy so they use up a lot of space and also you can't run any mods with those. And today I'm gonna show you some mods that you can use so if you want to have the maximum results you shouldn't choose those. If you're gonna go with Badline or Luna anyways then you can skip this mod section. Then there's Forge, Laby Mod and Feather. With Forge and Laby Mod you can also use T-Launcher if you have that and it's both very lightweight. Feather Client is also very lightweight and it has a bit of a design bonus in comparison to Labia Mod because it just looks kind of ugly. But if you want to use Feather, you can't have T-Launcher. So first let's assume you went for Labia Mod or for Forge. So you go to your .minecraft folder, you go into the mods folder and you put in these four mods. I already put them into the description with the download links. Just drag and drop all of those into the mods folder. Then double click on the better FPS mod and this window will open up. I would guess your Minecraft folder is in this one, but if you use MultiMC, by the way I made a video on that as well if you want to use it, you might need to change this path. Then click on test algorithms and check which algorithm works best for you. So here you can see the milliseconds, you can just test it again and again and again, and for me the Rivens algorithm works best, so I can click on change algorithm to Rivens algorithm. And that's all you need to do with better FPS. Then you can just start up Minecraft. But me personally I like to use Feather, so I go to the 1.8.9, add own mods, and I'll just drag and drop all of those four mods into this mods folder right here. But you need to delete the better FPS thing again because that doesn't work with Feather since it's already integrated. We went over the better FPS mod, so let's now go over the other three. This foam fix mod uh, basically just clears up the RAM that isn't used, so, so you don't have to do anything there. But the patcher mod, type slash patcher, and then this menu will open up. You also probably had a pop up at the beginning where you had to click some stuff through, but patcher is really, really cool. So there's lots and lots of bug fixes right here that you can look through. There's a lot of stuff that you can use, but you don't need that for the FPS. For example, the FOV modifier is basically if you have this view bobbing thing or not. But if you go over to the performance tab, there's a lot of stuff that you can turn on or off. Since there's descriptions, I won't go over every single thing that you can turn on or off. But the most important ones are under the world tab with optimized world swapping, lower animation tick and batch model rendering. Under screens, there's also stuff that says can positively impact performance. So I don't want to have the transparent chat, but it would be good for the performance. So everything that says can positively impact performance, just check out what it does and maybe turn it on. By the way, the patch mod also does that when you zoom in or something, you can also scroll to zoom in even further, which is pretty cool. By the way, also check out the performance tab in the feather settings. But now let's get to Optifine. So go to options, video settings, and now there's a lot of stuff we can do. So graphics fast. Render distance, I don't know, I like to keep it at 8, but if you're playing Bedwars you can also turn it down to 6 or something. Max frame rate in unlimited, FBOs on, dynamic lights off, shaders obviously off, details, clouds off, trees fast, sky off, sun and moon off, fog off, fast, 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 off, off, fast, off, 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 off. But I'm actually gonna use stars because I wanna have the custom sky, even though it's not good for, for the performance. Animations. Just click on particles decreased, you can also turn off everything that if you want to. Actually minimal is less than decreased, so turn it on minimal. Quality. Bitmap levels, also turn those to a minimum, but it doesn't really look all that well, so I'll keep it on maximum. If you have a really crappy PC, just do it. Turn the custom sky off if you want the best performance. Connected te textures, turn that off. Under performance, turn fast render on, fast math on, and daisy chunk loading on. And that should be it. Lobby is obviously much laggier than a Bedwars game, so I just flew around and <laughs> basically there's nothing around me anymore. So in a Bedwars game I would now get like around 900 FPS. I hope that helped and if you want to push your PC even further then check out my Windows optimization guide on the end screen right here. But anyways, please leave a like and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.